All right, so in this problem, we have a formula and we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. So now let's, in order to um, understand better our linear function, we are going to plot two points and connect them to see our linear function better. So we are going to pick a value for f, which will be zero, and we'll also set h equal to zero because those are two easy um, values to plug into our equation. So when f equals zero, let's plug that in. We have zero equals three h minus nine. Now we can add nine on both sides and we have nine equals three h. Now in order to find the value of h, we'll divide three on both sides in order to isolate h and we are left with three equals h. All right, so that's our first point. And if our x-axis is f and our y-axis is h, if we plot this, we have 0 up 3. So that will be right over here. All right, so now when h equals 0, let's plug that in. We have f equals 3 times 0 minus 9. And 3 times 0 gives us 0, so we have f equals negative 9. Now, if we plot this, we are going to move over negative 9 and 0. All right, so now let's connect these two points together, and this will be our linear function. Perfect. All right, so now let's read our answers. A states if h is less than 9, so 9 is right over here, and it is less than 9, they're saying that f is positive. Now, f is positive once um, h reaches this 3. But before then, all of, the, all of the f values will be negative. So this statement is half correct because when h is less than 9, it is also negative and then it will become positive. So a is incorrect. Now let's take a look at b. If h is less than 0, so if h is less than 0, f is negative. Well, this does seem to be true because all the numbers that are below the x-axis, that means that um, all the f values will be negative. All right, so b is correct, and now let's see why c and d are incorrect. If h is greater than negative 3, so h is greater than negative 3, which is right over here. Let's erase this. Then f is positive. Well, this is incorrect because f is negative until we reach um, this positive 3 right here. So all of these values are negative until it reaches the positive 3. And then all the f values will become positive. All right. So C is incorrect, and let's move on to D. If H is greater than 6, so greater than 6, then F is negative. Well, this is incorrect because when all the H values become more positive than 6, all of the F values also are in the positive realm. Therefore, D is also incorrect, and our final answer will be B.